Hello everyone, it's Salami again from Moments with Salami and today I'm going to be talking about how to create interactive PDFs. As we all know, sometimes our PDFs can be boring and then we have to keep scrolling or not, it's just, PDFs are just can, can be boring sometimes. So with this, in this tutorial, what I'm, what I'm trying to do is to infuse a level of interactivity into our PDF such that it makes it more fun and even much more functional. So let's go into the video. So in this video, um, let's say for instance, I have a table of content and um, I'm going to create a PDF. I have page two, page three, page four, page five. And then for instance, I can't even go to page two from here. I'll have to just scroll to maybe in my PDF reader. I have to scroll to page two, page three. What if I have page 800? I have to scroll to page 800 or stuff like that, or maybe type it out. So one of the things we can do is to use the internet feature in Corel Draw. In case it's not activated, come to Windows, come to, yes, come to Windows, come to Docker, and make sure this internet is activated in case it's not activated. So I've deactivated mine. I'm going to reactivate it again. Yes, internet, and then when you activate it, it's going to be, it's going to be here. It's going to uh, give another 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 tab here. All these red and green buttons, blah blah blah. That's that. At uh, first, let's say for instance, I want to create a navigational button that takes me. When I click on that O2, it takes me to page two. When I click on that O3, it takes me to page three. All I have to do is click on O2. And come here, select the object as a web, or so I have, to, I have to click it as a link, and then click on that link, click on the other button, and then select the page I want it to go. I want to get it to go to top of page one, top of page one. Sorry, top of page two, since I'm going to page two. So sorry, that's a mistake. So I want it to go to page two. Yes, page two. Why did I mix mix it up again? Top of page two. So I can same thing I can do with O3. I want it to go to where? Top of page three. To O4 also top of page four. And O5 also. Let us make it go to top of page five. So uh, to know which one has worked among everything, although you might want to say, okay, either this, yeah, to show the odd spots. So, but I don't always want to put it on, so I'm going to put it off. But in case, so that you can always follow up on what you are doing, so you can always turn it on. Now, let me go to page two. So you say, welcome to page two. Click to return to page. I'm going to select this. And then, okay, let me return to page one. Top, that means top of page one. So, okay, same here, same thing. Top of page one. Since I'm probably going to be going back to page one. Top of page one. Yes. And um, let me try and create this as a PDF so that we can see. From here, we can create a PDF. Create PDF. I always want to pick it as web, at least to always um, give my file a very low size. So web, and then click on save. So I want to replace this. Yes, I want to do so. So when you open, when you open your file. Let me open it in any PDF reader of my choice. When I click on O2, it takes me to page two. Click to return to page one. Click on O3, click to return to page one. Click on O4, click to return to page one. And click on O5. You see, it's not taking me back to page five. So now that is the first stage in terms of navigating through some pages. So aside navigation through 
through some uh, pages one of the things we can also do is embed links in maybe in icons and images and so on and so forth so it can also be done so instead of just okay you are creating your okay this is my instagram and this is my phone number this is my email this is my whatsapp so why not use the icon instead so when using icon what you have to do is click click on this go back to that your internet and then okay since i'm going to be using i'm going to something that can take it directly to my mail so all i have to write here is mail to m a i l t o and then put that um dot dot sign what do they call it again so put it there um the so is dot dot sign sorry olada abdusalam at gmail.com so that will take them to my email straight up so now this is for my instagram let's say www.instagram.com so you can have this written somewhere before and so www.instagram.com slash salami underscore down so for my phone number all you have to do for your phone number it's a so just write tel and then put that hyphen yes now i remember hyphen now your country code 234 i mean nigeria that's why i'm using 234 then you can now finish the number seven zero so i've created that also and um, for my whatsapp so let me just use my whatsapp line after the https the hyphen double slash w dot m e and then i'm going to put my phone number seven zero one seven four two four seven five seven click okay so when i'm done with this i can now create the pdf and let's see how it will work so i can proceed to convert it to pdf let me click on pdfs and then interactive P pdf so let me save my file to get still open here let me close it so now let me open my file so now when i come here and i click on this you know it's my email so when i click on it it prompts me to send a mail to the email i've already had it to it so you see uh instagram when you click on my inst it takes you to my instagram account it's my instagram handle as you can see so it's it's it makes a lot of sense so uh let's try other buttons most of the time your phone number might not work it's most of the time it doesn't work especially on a pc but when you use a phone instead it works better i've noticed that it works better on the phone but most of the time on pc it doesn't work so and then let's say i click on my whatsapp so it takes it takes me to it prompts you to access me on whatsapp and the likes like that so it's a very nice feature um and it's helps sometimes most of the time it helps you reduce a lot of a, a, a lot of text it adds functionality and function to your to your pdfs it makes it less boring it reduces the the, the stress of navigation so it's a very important tool especially for layout designers for editorial designers who are designing magazines and especially when it's, it's going to be used in pdf in a soft copy so it's a very nice addition that you can add to your layouts and editorial so thank you very much for um for um thank you very much for watching the video up to this extent and please don't forget to like subscribe and share because it will go a long way in ensuring the continuity of this channel please